what's going on guys clickwood here back again bringing you guys another madden 16 ultimate team video and guys if you saw my most recent video which was a des bryant review you knew what was going to be coming here this is the brian dawkins review as you see him get an interception there uh yes this is a nine foot tall defensive back he plays strong safety here in this game and guys he is an absolute beast Definitely the best defensive back so far in this game in terms of attributes. I don't think there's any question about that. The fact that he was nine feet tall during this promo as, as well made it even more ridiculous. You're going to see him come up here and make a nice hit. And guys, what I really wanted to do was kind of break down some different things, some things where I think he was very good at and some things where he wasn't so good at. So right here, we're going to start off looking at his run defense right there. That was all users for the most part, but he did break the tackle or excuse me, break the block uh, with a nice block shed there. So take a look at this I blitz through the line here and look at him just swallow up the running back and that's pretty much what it is it just looks like he's eating them alive when he's making tackles here's another one here where they try to go up the middle and that's one play like the inside zone runs and like the 0-1 traps and those kind of things I noticed that Dawkins played those extremely extremely well for me when I was playing with him so I hopefully you guys if you had a chance to play with this items you saw the same type of things as he makes another big hit there in the backfield on a Dree Archer and uh, yeah, so basically that was him against the uh, the run. Now, what I wanted to do was kind of also show you guys some different plays in coverage. So here it is in man coverage. You see him there in the top left of your screen. They're going to do a simple out route, and he actually played that very, very well. Most cornerbacks in this game don't even play that that well. The out route is kind of one of the best routes to beat man coverage. Now, here he is again in man coverage, and the receiver is going to go over the middle of the field, and he would have been there to make the play on the receiver or at least swat it away. Now, because there was another guy there, obviously, he dropped off of his coverage because the tight end didn't go out for a route, and he was able to get the interception. But the point being, Dawkins was playing very, very well in man coverage, which was pretty rare for a safety, and it's something that I kind of actually like to do with my safeties. Here he is in zone, making a huge hit there. Probably could have gone for the interception, but I wanted to get some nice plays where he was actually playing the receiver as well. So, uh, he did a nice job there on that one here he is again in man coverage here going over the middle on an in route and he was able to break on that nearly picked it off probably should have been an interception pick six but that's pretty much like the best possible thing that your guy can do in coverage there he is again i clicked in on him uh so he didn't get the animation to intercept it at the right time but still force an incompletion there and really the big thing for me is that he was able to kind of swat away a lot of passes and uh just play well in coverage for the most part so i i did think he actually did really really well in coverage the one one thing that I was a little bit disappointed in with this Brian Dawkins was the hit power. And here it is, guys. Running with a quarterback, that should be a huge hit. That should be a fumble force like 99% of the time. With a player like Brian Dawkins with his hit power as ridiculous as it was, the size advantage that he had, the quarterback running, for goodness sakes, that should be a freaking fumble. And right there, you would think that that would be an incompletion as well. You know, the guy runs an out route. He gets hit by Brian Dawkins right when he makes the catch. Should be an incompletion more often than not, I would assume. But that really wasn't the case. Now, here he is again, and he makes a play there. He was kind of there in coverage, but then he missed the tackle, which is, I think that was kind of more of an aberration than it is any sort of consistent thing that's going to happen. But it was really frustrating, I'll tell you that much. When Brian Dawkins missed the tackle, I'm thinking, who could have possibly made that play if not Brian Dawkins? You know, it's really frustrating when that kind of thing happens to you. But I will say, that kind of a hit did happen from time to time where he just levels the guy. Unfortunately, I will say, I never forced a single fumble with Brian Dawkins. And that was a little bit disappointing. There he is again, not forcing an incompletion. Really disappointed in that. I, I mean, I, I expect a little bit more out of the hit power. I don't know if it's just maybe Madden this year that hit power doesn't seem to matter as much. But uh, he did make plays like this, where my guy screwed up. And look at this. He's going to track the guy down from behind. This is the kind of thing that you can do with a nine-foot player that has that kind of speed. And he's going to do it again on this play here. Uh, but that's pretty much the quick review of Brian Dawkins. Dies. Guys, I think he did a great job in coverage. And he's extremely fast. But I, again, I was a little bit disappointed in the hit power and maybe that was just my luck. But yeah, I didn't really enjoy it. So we're going to wrap this video up with me trying to block a field goal here with Brian Dawkins running straight up the middle. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, we'll be doing a Walter Payton review here in the next couple of days as well. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon. Hey guys, if you're enjoying my videos, do me a favor, click that subscribe button on the right side of your screen right now. Otherwise, you can always check out my previous video by clicking on the left side of the screen. Thank you guys again.